Hello and welcome back, this is Agent Zepp. You're watching another episode of Europa Universalis 4 with Theodore on the Gothic Invasion. Since the new DLC came out, uh, we have to start a new save file. For this, hopefully this time we're gonna achieve it before the next DLC and all the save games get screwed over. So, obviously, the mechanics have changed quite a lot as I explained in other videos already but the main things are gonna be that we have a different kind of fort level we can fabricate claims on capitals which means we could actually fabricate on our rival if he exists long enough the other thing is that Albania for instance ain't at war in the beginning of the game with the Ottomans so is the French and the English, they not at war together. So that can change quite a lot about the actions that the AI will take in the beginning of the game. We'll mothball our fleet. I think I wanna reduce maintenance. We'll set our rivals. That gives us a new mission, yes it does. We'll take the protect against Kandar. We recruit another regiment. And next thing will be to set up the merchants. We'll make them collect tr in trade since we don't have high bon bonuses right now. So I think it will be more beneficial for us to do that rather than um, not doing it and getting the passive bonus. Uh, it's good that we have a diploma diplomatic reputation guy available. Will enable us most likely to gain allies with Poland or Muscovy. Hopefully. They nerfed him as only plus one diplomatic reputation now. Um, We'll set the, the national focus on administrative tech so we can get our technologies as soon as possible. And then what I will do is actually bump up some of our development, increases our trade power, increases a bit of income, so I think that is quite helpful. So we'll do that until we spend. We'll appoint a leader. He is quite alright, one shock at least, better than none. And then we'll wait and see. Next thing is to issue an embargo on our rival. And then we'll improve relations with Poland and Muscovy and just let the game run have lots of time in between where we can talk about all the things on the map next thing Georgia you are not rivaled to anyone that's alright oh you rivaled to Trebizond you are guaranteeing him okay that doesn't make sense they should fix that um, for once, Kakassia is not rivaling Georgia, but Georgia is rivaling Kakassia, so that's not gonna help. Um, I just missed a tick because I was talking too much. Um, let's do the royal marriage with the Byzantines, and then we'll go and improve relations with Muscovy. Done. And then it's pretty much the waiting game once again. And what I will do is actually train up another bark for a bit, a tiny bit of extra things. We'll take the claim on Genoa, just in case. Never know what happens. And yeah, then it's just waiting. And hoping that no one attacks anyone, like the Ottomans will declare on the Byzantines or these people declaring on Trebizond stuff like that of course Genoa allies Hungary Austria and England so quite unlikely that we ever gonna do that mission 
at least not anytime soon. Let's cancel it again. Maybe get another mission that's better. Uh, let's recall one of these guys. Reduce the speed a bit. And offer alliance to the Byzantines, so at least we have one of them. Alright, and then go back to improve relations. Good. And now it's again the waiting, waiting and more waiting. I mean this will be relatively similar to the beginning of the last campaign we did, but it's also gonna be quite different since yeah, wars are gonna be declared more frequently, I think, and they will also be declared differently than they were before. For instance, what I've seen happening when I tried this out be yesterday, I saw Kwa Kong Yulu, uh, the QQ, attacking the Georgians and making them into a vassal or the Ottomans well, attacking the Byzantines, but if we're very lucky there has also been instances where the Mamluks attack the Ottoman and weaken them considerably. Right now there is a war down here. Who's Ramzan? These three guys are fighting against the Ottoman, but it's not very likely that they're gonna win. They only already got crushed once, it seems. Kandar and Crimea entered an alliance. That could be almost beneficial for us. Are you at war with someone? You're at war with the Golden Horde. That, that's really nice. If we could attack Crimea and get an early win. Let's see. This could be really good. If they get defeated once more, I think I might just try that. Burgi Burgundy is in the uh, Regency. Increasing the likelihood of the Begun Inheritance, I think. So we'll have to watch out for that. Burgundy could actually be a really nice and interesting play, as could be Albania, because they have a very strong leader in the beginning. But yeah, also they get attacked by Venice almost immediately. So, Crimea going back into the fold. Well, you have quite powerful allies, but I don't think they will be enough for you like the bark, then you to Crimea. Let's see how's our trade. 0.25 will up this stuff again. And actually I will s not spend military and administrative until at least we have the first technology in military tech. Alright. Poland minus 10 and Muscovy is minus 13 so rather unlikely and yeah as I feared they being attacked but I think I won't necessarily do anything about it gain stability is also not gonna happen just reshuffle them until we maybe get something else for some reason Georgia has not joined that war, even though they guaranteed them. Interesting. Oh well. Just wait until this is over and hopefully they don't come to crush us. But they should not get access through these people. I hope at least. Not giving access, giving access to Trebizond. You're not giving access to Trebizond anymore. Good, because otherwise you would gain access through there. Not giving access anywhere. 
also not giving access. Well, that's fine. So he's gonna be siege down. It's gonna take five years, but at least Georgia is not gonna end up on the losing end. We'll gain three inflation. We don't see that it would be useful to not do that since uh, gaining stability would be uh, almost cost too costly. Might have been better the other way around, not sure. Lithuania, Poland has happened. Alright. How far along are you in liking me? Minus three. But then afterwards getting the alliance will be a bit of an issue. Who are your rivals, Poland? Hungary, Austria and Teutonic Order, that's good. Somehow the Ottomans just had one of their cavalries attacked, I guess, because they recruited them somewhere where they couldn't defend. So you are currently on the losing end. That's good for us. Not sieging back to your land. So does that mean your whole army is gone? Let's check the ledger for Crimea. You only have 3,000 and 4,000 troops. That's good. Very good. You don't have any orthodox land, fortunately. But I could still try and conquer some of your land. Any estuaries? No. But still valuable. And the chance for growing. We'll see. Might be able to do the royal marriage with Poland. And maybe at some point get the alliance with them too. Also should reduce the distance between our lands. Okay, recall the diplomat. Get the royal marriage. Alliance is minus seven. We have two. Oops, I don't want to build uh, infantry, uh, cavalry. It was a bit of a waste in money there. And whoa. The Golden Horde is totally occupied. Interesting. So they focused on crushing uh, Crimea and then they lost on the other hand. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Um, because I wasted that money, I might not be able to afford this guy anytime soon. That's bad. Not very close. Let's 
see what will I do minus six you are still allied I think I will fabricate oh I did never insult you whoops that was a mistake all right we have the insult and embargo good still I think would rather fabricate a claim on you Do another one of that. And another. And I think then that will be the last one that we spend on that particular one. When did this one start? Two years ago. Okay. We've reached the maximum with Muscovy. And we off by minus one. That sucks. The golden horde is losing. What's Uzbek doing then? Strange. Right now, Bohemia will become the elect, uh, the emperor. Interesting. Very interesting. Just waited, uh, wasted some time again. Let's see. Well, I could fabricate on you. Um, use that claim to declare and only take f stuff from Crimea instead of anything from you. Accepted peace, they became a vassal. Okay. Protect the brethren. They are still allied to most of those. Anyone at war? England's at war with France. But Genoa did not join that war. Okay, that was maybe started beforehand. Not sure why that would be. Byzantium seems to have some kind of problem with their manpower. The Ottoman is still fighting over here. Now they have a direct border with the Mamluks. Mamluks, have you the... Oh, you don't have any claims on him. And your allied was Dulkadir and Dulkadir just was at war. No, they weren't. Right might be the next goal for them. But then Kandar will also be gone, but at least I could use the claim to declare the war. Should work. Alright. Going back sp to speed. Minus four. Minus one. It won't change since you're always on the neutral attitude. You're gaining trust, hopefully, over the years, as I'm not doing anything stupid. My diplomatic reputation would go up if I were to have an heir. I actually don't have one yet. An heir if my leader dies, I mean. Actually, I want to try if I don't do this. If 
I recall the merchant and send the merchant somewhere else can't send him somewhere else unfortunately but at least I want to check this this make us more money all right I guess we'll not collect over there you at war the usual If I were to declare war on you, no one would join. If I declared war on you, you would have Crimea join and Dokadi. Yes, but Crimea doesn't have too many troops. They have no manpower at all and 9000 troops. So c that could still work. If we just were able to get someone else in the fold. I kind of doubt that that will happen though. Tick down once. would be able to do the diplomatic reputation it won't be enough for uh, Poland minus five this was just wavering because of their military strength, because that gets compared to ours. But the diplomatic reputation will only give us plus three. Recall that. I guess just fabricate another claim. Well, now that I think about it, what would be more beneficial? Georgia? Or Caucasia? Well, Georgia is slightly stronger. I think I will try with Caucasia. Genoa is at war with Venice. Did I see that right earlier? Yes, they also at war with Burgundy. So you are quite busy. All right. Um. I'm calling call quits here for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please leave a like comment and subscribe for more content in the future. In the next episode I hope we'll be able to declare war on someone and grow and strengthen our position. Otherwise we'll just keep on waiting and hope someone declares a stupid war on us and we'll be able to defend with our allies. But until that happens, see you next time. Bye bye.